Tube review. Because I can't miss work, and I kind of lean. Our next comedian, a very <laughs> funny young man. I have not seen him yet, but I think you're going to enjoy him a lot. Please welcome Tony Tubes, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Aberdeen's got something going on. This is sweet. I, I, I moved away from here because this shit like didn't happen, so it's kind of nice to be So, slacker. All right. I'm in, I'm in Redfield these days. Anyways, I'm Tony Tubes. You might have uh, seen me on uh, a YouTube show called The Screen Junkie Show. They do the honest trailers and stuff. I went out there and do that. Uh, I, was also, I also have my own YouTube channel called Tube Review. If you search Tube Review on YouTube, you're going to get the phone book. So you just click on channels and hear me. So, little disclaimer. Uh, I swear. I swear a lot. I enjoy it very much. Hope you guys don't mind. Also, tonight, uh, the word vagina needs to be changed to the word hoo ha dilly. Just because the word vagina just, you know, it's, I can't say it, you know, and like all the different words for vagina, it's just, there's nothing really that's really suave, so I figured just do something fun like hoo-ha dilly, and that'll work. So, stay tuned. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to Slackers, good job for supporting local artists. I got the cards too, man, I understand, I, I don't have any. I don't have a memory for shit either. But uh, yeah, so I do a lot of online content. I do some stuff for Dakota Broadcasting, a little thing called Completely Unoriginal. But in my off hours, I do, uh, I play a lot of Grand Theft Auto fun. Anybody else? Anybody. All right, good stuff. Juicy Tubes 85, PlayStation 3. <laughs> That's me, I'm old school. But you know, when I say that, people are like, oh, you're a gamer. No, I play one game, Grand Theft Auto 5. I beat the Arkham's, those were fun, but it's just, this is Grand Theft Auto V, I can just, it's just mindless and everything. And what's really cool about Grand Theft Auto V is I get to like hang out with my friends that live across the country and we actually get to go and do things together. It's kind of sad, but, you know, hey, I haven't hung out with you in a long time, let's go and shoot somebody in the face. <laughs> really quick and it's you know it's rather therapeutic sometimes but what sucks about Grand Theft Auto 5 is if you're playing in the online world you realize after a while that you're killing a lot of 10 to 12 year olds <laughs> like a lot I'm mowing these kids down shooting them like a dog in the street and I feel terrible about it but then you hear some of the things that these kids say in that on that online world and it's just ridiculous how big of assholes kids have become. But what's really sad is the fact that there's no evolution with them. They all just, they all just cling to the same thing. And I get called a faggot so much. Like, so much. Entirely too much. And it's almost as if, like, I, I almost kind of feel the hatred that a gay man would feel in hearing that word so many times when I play that game. So that I don't care about killing the little kids then. Because it's just a game. But the thing is, like I'm sitting there one day and I'm on it and everything, and my buddies and I are going around, we're actually doing like a mission or something, and some kid comes up, can you guys stop swearing? Okay, listen here, chap. I've been playing this game a long fucking like a long fucking time, like 1990s. I was playing this game when their dads were still jacking off to the fuzzy porn that you kind of got on your TV back in the day, you know? That's how long I've been playing Grand Theft Auto, back when it was still like the above the ground shop, you know? You couldn't see shit. But, so yeah, I've been playing the game a long time. Let me see, I'm kind of lost here. But yeah, you know, I, I kind of, they, they, they call me faggot so much, and, and but what really kind of stinks is like, my name is Juicy Tubes 85 on there. So it seems like every time I get on there and they realize who I am and what my name is, immediately I'm gay. Immediately. Like immediately all of a sudden cocks are just flying at me all day long. 
and it's you know it's fine that they want to think that, but they're so derogatory about it. You know, they really try to just tear people down for it. Well, what really sucks is when I was a kid and when you guys were all kids, kids were the little shit stained puss sucking little fuck bullies that used to fuck with me all the time. They were they were clever about it. You know, like my okay. So I found out, you know, they found out one day that, oh, I was born with one nut. Hey, come check it out, I was born with one nut. <laughs> hey, you know, I, I looked for it. Like, for a long time, dude, like, I was wondering if it just, like, was just floating around. <laughs> it's in my shoulder today, you know. But no, they did a scan and it just, it never, it's just gone. But anyways, the kids in elementary school, they found out about it and they started calling me Tony Uno. And that's kind of clever, you know? Like, come on, dude. You know, hey, you know, you know some Spanish, dude. Throw it in there. You know, you're learning something. Then they upped the ante on me. My name is Tony Zer. And they started calling me Tony Lou. Tony Lou Zer. Come on, dude. They're assholes, but they still had the ability to create being assholes. And the kids these days, they just. It's always faggot. Oh, you're such a faggot. Everybody's a faggot. God, you just... You know, and the thing I want to say to the people like that is my wife asked me this one time. It was when we had our... We have four kids. But uh, when we had our first kid, we were just, you know, just starting out, and she asked me, and I know she was vetting me for, like, the future, like, who is this guy that I just had a kid with? But she's, like, sitting there, and she goes, so what, what would you do if Damien was gay? Turned out to be gay someday. And I was just like, fuck, I don't care. 99% of the gay people that I have met in my life, gay men I guess I should say, dress really nice and they usually have really good jobs and they're really super polite and they always have tons of hot girls hanging around. Sign me up. My, <laughs> totally. My kid, I don't care man. The whole thing about gay and like, oh, you know, what, 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 what are you going to do if they're like, you know, they come on to you and stuff like, I don't want to see that stuff in public and everything and it's like, man, if you're gay, be as gay as you can be. Just be the gayest fucking person ever in my book. And shout that shit from a mountaintop. Gay marriage. Shout that shit from a fucking mountaintop. Because I would, for my wife. So hell, if you like, if you love somebody, fucking do, do that shit. And my wife happens to have a hoo-ha dilly. <laughs> and I happen to have a penis. And, you know, I tell you what. If there is a God, and God actually makes things, he comes, he, he created me, and then it took God three years, three years to make the perfect hoo-ha dilly for me. She was born in 1988, and I love her dearly. It fits like a glove, and I love her for it, and I love God for it if he has anything to do with it. And so, you know, that's, that's, that's my take on, on, you know, my relationship, and so, yeah, if you're gay, be awesome and be gay. Awesome. Don't worry about the, the Grand Theft Auto kids. I'm really sick of the whole faggot thing. But, you know, they, they don't have the ability to create anymore. So, let me see. I think I might have one more. Am I good? All right, I'm good. Cool. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And, you know, like, when it comes to, like, gay guys hitting on me, go ahead. It's awesome. I'm flattered. It's a war you're not going to win <laughs> at all. But when it happens, I'm just like, well, thanks, man. I'm looking good today, you know? Right. I'm doing all right today, you know? I'm doing all right. I'm keeping it up. Well, let's see here. Well, okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Well, one last thing. One last thing. I'm sorry over here, bud. One last thing that I have to talk about. And that's, we're going to go back to penises now. How many guys in here have a penis? Oh, woo! Totally, right? I found out early on in life that the funnest thing about having a penis was naming it. <laughs> Sorry. And my penis has had a lot of names over the years. I found that switching it up, it really kind of, you know, gives a little spunk to life. And anybody with depression, you should totally think about doing it. But it started out, my penis started out, Mr. Bungle. I don't know why, it just happened to work him in my head one day. And then a little while later, it became Weevil McCheese Wheel. And that, was, that one was fun for a little while. 
but you know, it was it, you know, it didn't seem authentic enough. And then it was the tent pole. Very briefly, it was the tent pole. But then for a seven-year period, I named it Five Will Goes West. <laughs> it kind of got that little curve. You know. And but what was funny about Five Will was the fact that my buddy figured out what I named my penis, and he was like, "That's amazing. I'm going to name mine Wagons East." <laughs> Sweet, which is weird because I live East River. And I named my five goes west, and he goes west river, names it wagons east. <laughs> Anyways, so seven years went by. Seven years. And I kind of figured, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna name it again. And I'm gonna give it another name, but it's gotta be awesome. It's gotta be authentic. And so one day, my wife and I are flipping through the channels, and she found, she found a, we were watching one of her favorite programs, and, I, and a little light went off above my penis's head, and I said, honey. My penis is now going to be named Special Victims Unit. <laughs> and she's like, well, you got to call Ronnie out there in Spearfish and tell him. <laughs> so I called him, and he was like, that's amazing. I'm going to name mine Criminal Intent. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a wife, so it's okay, you know? <laughs> but he's like, but I got, a, I got one up on you, though, man, because he's like, I can name my balls Law and Order. <laughs> he's like, you can't. He's like, you got, you got law. And we all know that there can't be any law without order. So, yeah. But the one thing, the, the really great thing about, about it, about the penis is, and women, you have to go through a lot of shit in your day. Childbirth, bleeding all the goddamn time. Getting all pissy because of it. But I, guys got one up on you. And here's what it is. And it's, it's, it's really inconvenient for us. Girls, you don't care. Because when you shiver when you pee, it's just like, huh. Okay, great, awesome. What happens when a guy shivers when he pees is this. Watch this right here. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Shit. It's all over. So there you go, girls. That's one thing that sucks worse for guys. I'm going to let that be right there. So, thank you. Gentlemen, words to live by. Faggots, don't worry about the Grand Theft Auto kids. You don't need that shit. Tattoo that on your arm. We got one more comic. Are there musicians? Is that what happened? I saw a guitar on the stage. No?